Good morning. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea on February 2nd, Tuesday, for our daily precious metals update. It is really a little chilly out there at 51 degrees, and uh, uh, man, I am so tempted to grab my surfboard, though. If I wasn't so understaffed and I wasn't so busy in the store, I would just go out there and get a little surfing done. Put my wetsuit on. Look at that. There's a guy. Oh, over the falls he goes. <laughs> Anyways, man, if you're a surfer, today is a fun little waist-high day, it looks like like man love to get out there myself but short staffed and crazy busy anyway let's move along to uh ooh, if you woke up this morning you looked at this morning's spot prices you would absolutely think what the hell happened after all that reddit bullshit and everything uh i was expecting way higher prices uh, but i've kind of been a little bit leery myself uh, to, to see what's happening here you know silver is such a huge market um, the uh, 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 spread of that rumor that everyone was going after silver was kind of a little on the weak side as well, but surprisingly really drove silver up to an all-time, not an all-time, what am I saying an all-time high, to I think they said an eight-year high, which was close to $30 per ounce. I mean, we're expecting to see that this year anyway, even without this Reddit nonsense, but no less. Um, uh, some interesting information. So I went and I looked this morning and said, well, what, what could have caused the price of silver to drop, uh, especially with New York this morning? Uh, and and I found a little something here. It is our friends in Wall Street and our friendly bankers uh, that have uh, uh, caused a drop in precious metals. Nothing new here. Uh, these guys are really good at manipulating paper prices and uh, uh, manipulating how the market works, at least on the paper end of it, not on the physical end of it. So here you go. Here's who did it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I want to take a look here. And uh, Wall Street Journal kind of spelled it out. And let's take a look. Where did it go? And again, I, I fudged that page. There it is right there. GameStop uh, uh, slides again, silver two. However, here's a little keeper right here. The other hot commodity, silver, also took a leg down, dropping after. Now, here's the key. Now, here's Miss, Mr. Burns in the last page right here. Uh, <laughs> dropping after the CME, Mr. Burns, a leading exchange, slapped additional margin requirements on trading. Uh, which basically means uh, uh, that they've temporarily put the brakes on the one true way to uh, uh, um, break the bank, so to speak, or to uh, cause a, uh, a, a run on the shorts with silver. And that is uh, at the commodity exchanges in New York and in London. So the CME basically said uh, there's more margin requirements on traders. They probably raised the uh, amount of money that you have to put down in order to trade in silver as well. Uh, and that probably did it too. Let's see what kind of effect that has and how much legs that this uh, uh, market we you know, what this uh, Reddit uh, silver thing has on it. Again, I wasn't counting too much into it. However, it was nice to see that it didn't take very much at all, just a small little bit of movement into silver to cause it to jump as much as it did. That's good, folks. You know, the way I look at this, that's a good thing. Because uh, even if this Reddit doesn't, it doesn't produce anything big for the silver market. What it did produce is it put silver on the radar with a whole bunch of people. Even Wall Street Journal running a full page ad on the, uh, or not full page ad, but uh, uh, running a, a front page news on silver, uh, which you hardly ever see. I stopped my Wall Street uh, Journal subscription after having it for 15 years because uh, they, they're not too kind of precious metals at all. But uh, first time I've seen it in years really make uh, front page news uh, like it has yesterday and today, uh, silver. Uh, not very, uh, you don't see that very often with uh, the Wall Street Journal. Anyways, uh, there's your reason. Again, uh, they slapped additional margin requirements. So the people that make the rules change the rules again. And uh, that should not be surprising. But if you own physical, you don't have too much to worry about. Uh, meanwhile, let me take a look at the uh, the headlines on ZH. Everything is about precious metals. Precious metals are breaking out in every major currency. Uh, that was written yesterday, so I don't think he'd like to... It didn't really break out this morning too much. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, guys, this video too. Silver short squeeze in the $1,000 target reality check. Yeah, that's a little bit of hype to me, in my opinion, but <clears throat> I haven't watched this video right here, but I really don't see a $1,000 target here uh, with this short squeeze. Again, I don't put too much into this short squeeze thing. Uh, what I did learn from it, even if nothing develops, is that it takes a very, very, very small amount of money to move silver prices big, and as I said, second, secondly, uh, that this did put silver on the radar with a bunch of people that really had no clue, and uh, they will be looking at silver in the future, especially when it starts moving up. 
up on its own fundamentals. I like that word fundamental because you don't hear it in Wall Street too much uh, and you don't hear it in the world too much. Uh, so uh, I want to move on to something else here because I'm not going to look at all these articles, silver short squeeze, uh, Reddit, uh, uh, Redditors apply GameStop short squeeze strategy to exploding silver. Well, silver kind of exploded on the weekend a little bit and yesterday. But again, as I've said, and, I, and we've always known, it doesn't take very much money. It takes such a small fractional amount of that uh, uh, money to move into silver. Just to cut, and silver will just explode anyway. <clears throat> so once these st people start to look at silver more seriously, other than just a short position, um, they look at it as a way of accumulating wealth, holding wealth, and, and uh, uh, by piling into it, they will drive the price up dramatically. Silver is a small market. won't take much. To, to drive it up, and maybe even to a thousand one day. But <laughs> if it's a thousand dollars, I suspect that the loaf of bread is going to be at least fifty or a hundred. So that's just my opinion. Um, screenshot here: If you're buying ETFs or mining stocks, you are not buying silver. Here is why, and I'll tell you why you're not buying uh, silver. Uh, ETFs are really not backed by any silver. It's just a paper market, and when you're buying paper, you're playing pay, playing their game. Uh, if you really want to uh, see silver prices go up uh, and you want to be part of that movement to make silver prices go up, you need to buy physical. And uh, ETFs are not buying physical, uh, period. Even the Sprott Physical Fund, uh, which I got into years ago, I'm extremely disappointed with that, by the way. Just stay the hell away from ETFs if you're buying, uh, unless you need to quickly buy something and make a quick move in the market. Uh, maybe that's about it. Uh, but still, if, you, if you're a silver investor, avoid the ETFs completely. Uh, in my opinion, and uh, avoid mining stocks as well unless you know what you're doing. Remember, with mining stocks, you are not buying gold or silver. You are buying the company. You're buying the board members. You're buying all the people that run that mining company. Uh, so, you know, people mistakenly think, oh, I'm going to buy silver and buy gold. If I buy the mining company, I'm buying the gold and silver. Not necessarily. A lot of these mining companies, in fact, have already pre-sold the gold that's in their mine. So, if the price goes up, they, I don't know if they benefit from it much. And really, the gold has already been pre-sold. So remember, when you're buying mining stocks, you are buying, you're basically buying the company. You are not buying the mine, per se. Uh, and uh, if you've got any comments about that, please uh, feel free to make it down below in the comment section. I'd like to talk to you more about that. In fact, I've got a few questions I've got to answer in comments from yesterday, and I will get to them, folks. I'm sorry. I've just been crazy busy here. Uh, <clears throat> Well, let's take a look at spot prices here. Again, they got pretty much monkey hammered this morning, but it, I'm not surprised by that. Um, and uh, we do have silver available, folks. We have, uh, uh, I got some 90% in, I've got some 100 ounce bars available, uh, some one ounce bars available. Uh, so even though the big online vendors are sold out, uh, Brian is not. <laughs> so we're open 10 to 4, Mondays through Friday. So give me a call today if you're still looking for some silver. And actually, as I've always suggested, buy the friggin' dips. This is a good time to buy the dip. Look at this dip. It's a hell of a dip right now, too. Um, let's take a look at the prices. Did I just update that? Let me do a quick refresh on that screen and make sure we've got the freshest screen. No, they've even monkey hammered it a little more this morning. Take a look at that. Um, <laughs> uh, there you go. You know who monkey hammered it? Probably this guy right here. <laughs> Uh, no less, uh, no worries, folks. As I've been saying in this show, on the show for months and months and months now, uh, we are in a bull market uh, with precious metals. Uh, this uh, uh, Reddit thing, uh, though it could turn out to be something that people piled into, I'm kind of happy it's not because it's left the fundamentals of our market alone. And fundamentals are real important. There's nothing fundamental about that Reddit crowd. Nothing. Uh, so, uh, on the other hand, it was nice to see the blip. And uh, again, as I said, it's nice to see a lot of people take a look at silver. Uh, however, if they got into silver yesterday uh, quickly in the markets and they're looking today, they are quite disappointed. But it's their own fault. You know, you got to understand what you're doing and don't always follow the crowd. <laughs> so uh, it looks like, again, like as I said, monkey hammered down 30 bucks almost for gold, uh, silver down $1.66, and platinum down $34 below that 1100 mark. Uh, but we're holding on to where we were uh, earlier last week. We were in the $27 range last week. Uh, and actually, gold got a little more monkey hammer than normal. But as I said, great opportunity to buy the dips. All the smart people in precious metals, gold, silver, and platinum, are thinking about buying this morning if they have extra money or if they've been thinking about it. Uh, all the dumb people are thinking about selling today. Uh, even if they're the new people that just recently bought in this week, 
don't sell, folks. Just hang on to your position. You're fine at $30 silver. If you paid the high at $29.50, you're fine. Um, trust me, you're okay. <clears throat> Same thing with gold. Uh, you're fine uh, if you bought at the level of 1860 or 1866, whatever it was yesterday, and platinum as well. If you bought above that $1,100 mark this last week, uh, don't worry about it. Hold, hold, hold. Do not sell. Uh, my suggestion, again, buy these dips if you can. Well, that's really about it. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals. If anything crazier happens today, I'll get back to you. But meanwhile, hey, relax. Don't worry about it. This was just a blip. Even if this whole Reddit thing goes away on silver, it's, it was just a blip on our charts. Um, we'll forget all about it later, and uh, we'll stick with the fundamentals that we've been working with. Hey, thanks for watching. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea for our morning update. Uh, call us anytime at 954-493-8811 if you got questions or you want to know what spot price prices are or what the best deal of the day is because we do have great deals folks and I do have products and I will beat all the online major sellers like AppMex uh, uh, and those guys and uh, uh, SD and JM. I'll beat all their prices. Uh, it's pretty easy for a small guy like me to do it. <laughs> Anyways, I've been around since 1977 and uh, I can give you better advice than they can online as well. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, this and Oh geez, I got a little confused there. Thanks for watching and if there's anything else like I said, I'll get back to you. If not, have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.